welcome to my channel well I'm gonna work on this cold steel here that uh, this was a gift sent to me by John M and I've already modified the axis lock not axis lock triad lock so that it's easier to open um, you can get them too loose but I'm, this one's not too loose. When I check if it's too loose, I just shake like this. And if the blade doesn't come out and everything, then it's good enough. It's tight enough. Um, this is a great knife. And the only thing that a lot of times prevents me from carrying it too much is this right here is just too damn aggressive for uh, your pants. It'll tear your... It won't even make it past the thing. Now, I... You know the the hem on a on the edge of a pocket. So this has got T8s right here. You just take the black ones out, not the silver ones. And I'm not going to put any Loctite or anything on this, but I'm going to take this off and basically just smooth down this area right here. So it, it can still be grippy all the rest of it, but just right through there. Now you can put some emery cloth underneath here and go back and forth, but it's better just to take this. Pocket clip off. I'm trying to look through the camera and do this. Come out of there, you. I don't think the threads are that long. I think it's stuck on something. I right, stay there. Stay there. See if I care. You're coming out one way or another. Can't you be like the rest of the screws, huh? Gotta be different. Oh, uh, another thing. Maybe they are that long. Look how long this guy's. Another thing I do is this little magnet here comes in handy. Your screws don't go rolling around. All right, AC was loose all the way. It's just kind of like stuck there. Come on. Let's we're going to get you all the way off. I'm sorry. You can't escape. You can stay attached to the clip. Alright, you can see I kind of smoothed it down a little bit already, but it's not enough. I'm going to extend it all the way across because usually this, this is all extra grippy up here. Alright, and I just grabbed it. Rusty old file. Rat tail. Rat tail with a handle. And yeah, just do something like this. Look at what you're doing. You're trying to make a mask. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, it looks like about the right spot. I'm going to smooth it a little bit more this way and this way. Just do the... Give it a little ramp for the cloth to go in, in and out. <clears throat> I've got a Dremel tool, but the problem is if, with plastic and stuff like that, if you go high speed, it's not a variable one. If you go high speed, it'll start melting the stuff. You'd want to go at a slower speed on this, just so you don't reach the melting temperature of whatever this. We'll see. Let's smooth that down quite a bit. I don't want to put this back on. I'll spare you the screwing around. <laughs> screwing around. Stop screwing around. So I just put two screws into it and I put it on the uh, in my pocket and the material is is binding up in front of this so I need to take more material off the front right here so I got a little headlamp on too I'm doing this headlamps come in handy for stuff like this because a lot of times your light is not right where you need it but when you got a headlamp you, you can adjust it and I've got a, a night core headlamp that I'm trying out a little just takes a double a and it costs like 20 bucks and it has a red light in it also all right well, all right 
right in front of the screw here. We're gonna knock it off. You could probably use a flat, you know, flat file. Quit. I'm trying to do this without. All right, uh, unzoom yourself so people won't. Quit bouncing around you. Quit bouncing. If you totally botch it up, you can probably buy replacement covers or stuff. But just... Alright. Put this guy in here. I have alignment here, too. Yeah, we'll fully tighten it down. Yeah, we might need to take a little bit more. This is here. Uh, that's from that holding it level when I'm hacksawing. Filing my way out of prison. Uh oh. Knocked the clip off. Did you knock it off? <laughs> I just did. Alright, let's put this back on and see if you can cut out the corny jokes. No. Don't think I'll be able to do either. Well, that's, we might be able to accomplish putting the clip back on. All right. Plastic everywhere, but at least it's not super airborne, you know, like it would be if you had a high-speed tool. So I'm not wearing a mask. Give me that other screw. We're going to do... I'm optimistic. I'm thinking this is going to fix it. Probably too optimistic, because I put three screws in there, and I'm tightening them down. Alright, we'll try this. Nope. Still no no real improvement. I may have to I may have to bend this this lip up more. I may need to try that. I'll put it in a vise and bend the crap out of it. Cause you really don't have much clearance between... Clearance, clearance. We need more clearance. See, right through there. Look how thin that is. And most hems on on pockets and stuff are, you know, rounded off or double stitched. It's not just like a little thin piece of fabric. We're going to fix this. It may take a while. The joy in the modification is when it works, when it fixes whatever issue you had. We're going to need some more tissues if you don't fix your issues. I don't think I've taken enough off of here. Let me try and try and on camera, not vibrating the world. Don't mess up that screw head. need to get a flat file Let's straighten that out got a couple of smaller a triangular and a flat file here I'll try the flat one here oh yeah this is a little bit better it's finer teeth on it too so that it It'll do a smoother job. Starting a fire. Right, let's look. See what we've accomplished here. There's a little bit more room here. Looks like, you know, before tightening this down. I don't know how much more. We need to go all the way up to here. Right where I'm filing. We need to take that area down a little bit more.
Yeah, that one down. Yeah, I'm gonna scare myself a bit. There. What do you think? You can still see the little tire tread patterns, but they're not as aggressive. What you doing, Grandpa? Toy kid, you bother me. Can I help? Yeah, you can get the hell out of here. What? I'm gonna tell mommy. Yeah, go tell your mommy. I don't care. I'm practicing with this grumpy old grandpa act. I mean, I don't have any kids. I got a stepkid, but I don't have any biological kids of my own, so. Black gold. Keep a nice ramp there. Ramp your way up into it. All right. I'm going to attach this with just two screws this time because... I have a feeling it's going to be close, but not close enough. It's going to need more filing. I'll have to speed this video up so it don't take much time and I'll sound like a chipmunk. Well, we've increased the gappage quite a bit and smoothed the ramp down. So let me try this. Oh, almost. We're getting an almost out of it. I really think bending this lip up is going to be required to make this work. If not take, because it still binds up pretty badly here. Let me do that. Let me bend the crap out of the lip. All right. Bending it is what it really needed. Now, I just put this upper portion right here in the jaws and. I levered this thing towards me. Now, this is spring steel, so it's pretty tough. And if you use too much force, it feels like it's going to snap. So what I would do is just kind of like flex it. And I only had to do that a couple of times, you know, just a couple of flexes. And now it goes in and out of my pocket. If I can demonstrate that somehow. All right. See that pocket right there? Still plenty grippy. It's not going anywhere. <clears throat> Pretty hard to completely yank it out. But before it would just bunch up. It would just bunch up right there. I don't know if you can see that. But now it just goes right in. Not super easy, you know. I mean, I could I could bend him some more, but this lip's still not sticking up too much to catch on anything. So there you go. There's a quick mod for you, if this is ever bothering you. I think you might not have to do this filing here, but I think that helps also because it smoothed it out quite a bit. And the main thing is just getting enough of a gap so that you can wedge it in there past that. But yeah, there you go. Hope somebody found that useful. Thank you for watching, man. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the little... It's a Nightcore headlamp. It's got two modes, high and low. And then uh, it's got a red. And you can switch that back. And then there's like a an SOS. Once you do that, it's hard to get it out of that. Stop it. It's, it's also got... Would you quit it? All right, you hold down on that and you get your red. Double click. Now it's SOS. Hold down. To turn off. Hold down to turn on. Over here, maybe. Yeah, there's your pulse. A red beacon. And then that's it. For that and this is pretty useful that amount of light I rarely go to the high mode and you hold this to turn it off this is a little pebbled here so you can um, this was reflective and glow in the dark 
the simple little toggle, you know, to tighten it up and everything. It works. It's only 20 bucks. It's like 19.99 on Amazon. And you just pull this out here. Takes one AA battery. I wouldn't run a 14500 in here without frying it, I think. Um, you can run a nickel metal hydride in there, no problem. Or an alkaline. And it came with this, and then there's a little clip that it's got here that it mounts. So you don't have to use all this. You can just put it on the brim of your hat if you want to use it like that. And little click adjustments. I'm usually looking down, so I usually have it aiming down a lot instead of hiking around. A um, little bit of padding right here. I've worn this with no hat on or anything, just around my head. It's very lightweight, pretty comfortable. Um, headlamps come in very handy. Uh, you don't have to be camping just for doing stuff like this, uh, especially if your eyesight's getting poor or whatever. The more light you can show on it, shine on something, the more you can see it. So uh, I'm just trying this one out, like I said, and I'm... I'm liking it. I still like the, as far as the red light one goes, that uh, workhorse, workhorse one that was, uh, it's got the red and the white LEDs separate. It's kind of a little thrower. I like that one. Still the best. It's 18650, so it's heavier. This is much lighter. You can wear this on your head all day and barely even notice it. And it's like a little headband to keep your hair from blowing around in your eyes, if if that was the situation. So there you go. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.